What's up, party people? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. And if you want to stick around for a step by step detailed walkthrough, then you can certainly do that and we would welcome it. Today, we're going to talk about team sites versus communication sites. Which one is better? Let's get it on. Okay, before we get started, thank you for watching, thank you for liking and subscribing. If you don't already, there you go. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can be made aware as soon as new content is available. So let's rock and roll. Timers, please. Timer, I mean just one timer, we don't need multiple timers. Bruh. Appreciate you. All right, so the two biggest site templates in my mind are team site and communication site. Which one's better? Well, a lot of that depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to communicate a lot of information to a, pe a bunch of people and you want to have a few people curate that, communication site's the way to go. But if you're looking for like team collaboration where your private work team does all of its stuff before it publishes it somewhere, then a team site might be better. But you could do whatever you want. So there you go, let's look at the difference. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just fire off brand new versions of each one. We're gonna talk about like some of the stuff you get and then maybe you can form in your brain how you might like to use it. We're gonna keep it high level. I'm not gonna go super detailed. If you want something super detailed, please put it in the comments and we'll do our best to respond. The community will take care of you. Let's create a site. In round one, we have, and look at this. I mean, the fact that these are the two choices, I mean, that tells you that they're super, super, important now one thing i don't want to do is i don't really feel like creating an extra office 365 group or m3 365 group uh, oh 365 m3 it's a 365 group they all work the same uh i don't really want to like burn off one of those and if i do this team site right here uh it's gonna do that for me and i don't i'm i've, I've never been a huge fan of that like just let me pick right here if i want to do that you really can't not have the 365 group if you go from here you're gonna have to go to your admin center okay so do you want to close yeah i want to close you're gonna have to go to your admin center yo okay just just go to the admin center uh yeah we just went full off the rails just want to let you know uh adding this uh in editing to let you know that the long and short of the uh team site is that i believe microsoft designed it to work hand in hand with Microsoft Teams laying on top. My whole point here is that maybe you're trying to keep things simple and you're not trying to add a Microsoft team on top. If you do that, you also get the 365 group. Another thing to note, one of the advantages or one of the reasons you might want to go with a team site template, whether or not you go with the team on top at first or the or not, is that only the team site so far will allow connection to Microsoft Teams. You can't do that with a communication site. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. That's why I pretty much always create from there because I get to pick and choose the stuffs. So we're gonna go, come on, let's go. All right, now we can do, all right, see, we got this, but oh, look at there. Why couldn't I have that over here? But anyway, uh, other options, okay create a new team site without a 365 group yeah buddy i just want to do a demo i'm not trying to like create extra groups and stuff okay team site there you go no microsoft group great so we're gonna go uh team sites i can't spell are the best Woo! go team sites go team here's a tip you can type in okay to delete in your site description if you know you're not gonna need to keep this haha -ha. All right, so this is finishing up. Now what we're gonna get with a team site is we're, I don't know, we're gonna get, um, we're gonna get, where is it? Team sites are the best. All right, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Go, there we go. So team sites are the best, here's what you get. And again, this is the collaboration. This is where, you know, you've got your team of four, six or 10 or 
I don't know, maybe your small team is a large team for other people, but it's like, it's like the functional, let, let's just go with functional, functional team, okay? You, you got a group of people, your job is to do, is to make these widgets here, okay? And you need a place where you're gonna work on widgets together. And you're not really interested in dealing with Microsoft Teams and all the pretty stuff that gets layered on top, and you just, you just wanna keep it old school. Well, this is keeping it old school with a new school flavor okay you get the new skin you get you know everything's modern just a quick aside modern sites are i mean just modern sites in general blow classic sites out of the water just hands down okay D designing your site use pre-populated site templates this is pretty cool i mean so you can browse templates if you want and you can you know so they they basically just have predefined web parts on there i haven't really played with these a whole lot the cool thing about it is it's just using all the web parts you're used to using. It just templates it out for you and, and you can take that and modify it to your liking. It it seems pretty super slick. You know what? Let's just do one. Okay, training and development team, you know? Okay, let's let's do that. Let's use that template. I mean we're we're totally going off script right now. I was gonna tell you like what you get by default, but this is so intriguing. I mean basically I can tell you what they did. They they, they they mocked up this uh this section to have like a red background they threw some a uh, hero web part here and they slapped a um uh an events uh list or dealio web part events web part and then you got a um you got a quick links down here and they used the uh, fill option which i love the fill option on the quick links slapped a document library on here and then a countdown timer i mean come on another section with a red background and a news. I mean, this is ingenious. This is this is amazing. All right. So yeah. So with the team site, you you get you know you get some things by default. Like what what do you get by default? Um. You know what? I'm I'm gonna have to make another one because now I'm all thrown off. So we're gonna create another one. Okay. We're gonna go other options. We're gonna say team site is the best too. Team sites are the best. I mean, this is devolving, y'all. But we can get through it. Team sites are the best. Oh yeah. So we're gonna get back to the you know straight up default but that that template was that was awesome as the youngsters would say that was bussin bussin all right so we're gonna go back to super default i tr i will try not to get sidetracked again but i can't promise you i cannot promise you i won't go off the rails again uh it's kind of fun all right here's what you get by default notice how in the other one over here like they got rid of the documents library uh short uh navigation item that's what I was like, I, I gotta, I gotta go back to default. All right, so you're gonna get a notebook, uh, shared documents. It's called documents. The URL is shared document. You, you get the pages, you, so you're gonna have site pages you can build. You get site contents, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go to site contents and just verify all that jibber jabber. So look, we got the document library. Don't worry about this. Uh, don't worry about that. So yeah, I mean, you just basically got your document library. Okay, and that's it. You get the home page. It's built out like this. You can do whatever you want here. But let's take a look at some of the navigate. So you get a left-hand navigation, okay? All right, Hope, keep that in mind because it's different when you look at a communication site. Communication site starts off, well, there is no option for left-hand navigation on a communication site. But let's say you, you don't, you know, now you can get, you can move this left-hand navigation to be across the top global nav if you want for a team site, pretty slick. Uh, but you do get by default left-hand nav. You get this, uh, you know, this home page that's built out for you. You can modify it if you like. Pretty straightforward, super simple. There you go. Let's take a look at the communication site. Let's see how that's different. We're gonna open up another another can of building a site. All right, here we go. So now we're gonna go communication site. Communication sites are better. No, the best. All right, so. What you're gonna see here, I mean, they're they're both modern sites, but you're gonna see how the communication site is set up different here. Um, come on, come on, and we may go back and forth between some of the differences once we get to. Okay, so look at, I mean, whoa, bang, right in your face, right? I mean, hello, hero web part, like in your face. It takes up the whole. Look at that. Look at that. See that? Now look at that. Bam! In your face all the way across the screen for the hero web part that is it's like if i go in here and i'm pretty sure i don't know let's i mean here let's let's fire off a new a new page 
um, we'll do a new page here. I'm, I don't believe I can get it to look quite as gigantuan, okay? I just don't think so. And uh, by the way, I don't like that template. I don't like that. I always go for that. Always. So we're going to see what the hero part looks like here in the team site. All right, and we're going to go. I feel like I can do a full width. No, see? You can't do the thing all the way across the thing here. Like, see? Hold on. I know I'm being super eloquent right now. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go to edit mode, right? Okay, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go boom, and we're gonna be like, look at that full width section. But ba bam, I don't, I'm pretty sure I didn't see that. See, see, you can do the vert, and apparently, so I noticed this before, the vertical sections grayed out. I don't quite understand why that's happening. Someone please tell me why, because I feel like I've been able to do, like on a communication site, I know, that I've been able to do. Oh, you know what it is, I wonder? I wonder if, if this section can't be full width. Oh, I bet you that's what it is. Bingo! So, but you can do full width stuff here um, because you can add a full width section. So you get that big giant hero part. Okay, let's look at the site contents and see how it's different. Site contents, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, check it out. You get something new here. We get an events web part automatically. Pretty slick because, you know, think about it. This is a communication site. You're trying to communicate stuff. One of those things you might be trying to communicate might be dates and events. So they give you an events web part off the, off the gate. So you'll get the same document web part. Um, and your navigation's just different. Like, you know, it's more of a global focus um a global focus why oh how did we get here what the heck how how did we how did we get here this makes no sense i must have clicked the wrong oh i was thinking the customer oh my gosh i was in the wrong communication site here's Bruh. the brand new one okay wow next steps yep 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 uh, but then you got so I mean same thing here. Okay uh, The other one was just a demo that I hadn't really mocked up But I wanted you to see like the fresh brand new one and again, you're gonna see documents um, But as I was saying the navigation set up differently the reason I freaked out is because there was a there was a um, Hub navigation up there. I was like why is that up here on a brand new site? Haven't even joined it yet uh, But the navigation for the communication site tends to go, you know, you got your top left or right You don't have a left-hand navigation option. So if that's important to you you to have left hand navigation then we already know that communication site may not be for you uh but don't let the lack of a left hand navigation prevent you from going with a communication site either all right i think we're done rambling i think uh it's painfully obvious which one is the best i mean team sites are the best no wait a minute communication sites are the best you know what they're both the best it just depends on the look and feel you're going for you know mainly if you're if you're really digging that global navigation left to right then you're probably looking at communication um and and again it's really designed to uh have a few people curate it create the content for it on it and then uh have that be displayed for others to see the other one is really the team site one is really built for that uh, close-knit team collaboration and you got your choice of left-hand navigation. Uh, also, with the communication site, you do get that real big giant pop in your face full width section that you don't get. You also get hub sites. Okay, that's enough. I'm out of here. Again, please like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. Take it easy, y'all.